Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got a sweet update on the GE Tech firmware. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends. So, the great news is Vert reached out to me and showed me where the start here code was that we were missing for so long. I've also got a new link to the GitHub. It will be in the description of this video, and I'm going to put it in the description of all the other videos so you can find it as well. Once you click the Vert link, you can see here is his it takes you right to Vert's GitHub. And this is where you can find all of his code. He codes for many cool things. There's more than 100,000 lines of code that have been submitted just to Marlin alone. So let's jump in the firmware and check it out. We have got a new build. Lately, I had been telling you to use download zip to just get the current one, but we're actually gonna grab this release today. So when I click on the release, we have to do a download of the source code. I'm going to put mine in the downloads folder. You can see I've done this before. This one's going to be called Verts Marlin 501. When we hit save, I'm going to click this little down arrow and click show in folder. Then I'm going to right click 7-zip and I'm going to extract it right there. Now that it's extracted, friends, at this time I'm going to use start and I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. When it launches, if you get an old folder, you can just choose file and close folder. I'm going to open a new folder. Make sure you go to where you put it. Go to the folder you extracted it to and stop right here. When you click select, you'll see that it shows all your files, including the platform IO that is essential. And then when I click on the Marlin, you will see I can click on the configuration.h. Before we go any further though, let's make sure you have the correct extensions. So you can see I have C++, IntelliSense, and Platform IO. This is the one that you've got to have or none of this is going to work. If you have not added it yet, you just click up here and type Platform IO and boom, it's that easy to add it. There is a good chance that after you load it, you're going to have to close Visual Studio and then relaunch it and wait for the updates to get all taken care of before you can actually do the next part of this project. If you don't see these options down here, you probably went one folder too many and that will cause you errors the rest of the time. All right, so here is the magical stuff that Vert shared with me. We were looking for a start here. It has been included in configuration.h. If you slide down to the line 70 area, you will see the old pieces that we used to use. This is build 501, and it's time to enable our printer. I'm going to set this up for my A10T today because that is what is connected. So you do have to enable your printer. I'm going to scroll down through these. I do not have to worry about the boards because that's already baked in. And I'm going to get to the hardware mods. I don't do any probes, so I don't have to mess with any of these. I don't have any probe settings. I am using a mixed T, but I found out Vert actually baked these into the settings up top and that this is a redundant choice by me. You could just leave it as it was. I do not have any stepper driver mods, so I can leave this alone. I'm going to scroll all the way down. I do not have to enable my LCD mods. No fan mods. I do like to make modifications in the optional features. I like the power loss resume. I also like the filament runout. I'm not going to adjust any of the others. I'm going to skip past these. These are all settings that get taken care of by the cool coding that Vert has put in. I'm going all the way down now to the 500 section. One of my other favorite steps is to give the printer a name. So I'm going to call this A10T. And I'm going to put HLMT after it. So friends, with all those pieces in place, now we can hit the check mark and actually do the build. We'll find out in just a minute if that's critical or not. And now we just need to wait for it to do all its rendering. It looks like it found that I was missing the library liquid crystal, so it's going to install that. I'm going to assume that when it's done, it will fail, and I will have to redo it. So I am just going to build it again and see if this time it makes it through successfully. All right, friends, so you can see that just running it a second time was able to get me a success, and note that it's much faster the second time you run it. Now I've shown you before how we can get to the actual file. We use this firmware hex. If we do control click 
and then you can choose right click and reveal in file explorer i then used kira to upload the file but check this out from the configuration h when you've had success we can also just send it in vsc so i'm going to hit the button and you can see it is being sent to my printer at this time because i had it connected it takes a while for it to read it all right i scampered out here while that screen was running so we'll actually get to see it reset in a moment and then you'll see it pop on and show that it has the new firmware when it updates there we go bug fix 501 has just been added how cool is that Alrighty, friends, so there you have it. Short and sweet steps to update those GE Tech printers. Friends, I want you to understand all the cool work, all the hard work was done by Vert ahead of time. He helped me get this so that I could share it with you in a short and simple method. Friends, make sure you track him down using the links below. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel and give him a subscription. If you go to the bottom of my channel, you'll notice that he's also in my featured channels. So friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.